it's Andrea Becky here. And Shower Crane. Hi, everybody. Hi, everyone. So actually, if you were with us for the Instagram Live that we tried to do earlier, it did not so much work out as far as uh, the whole technology of it goes. Um, Instagram just kept not wanting to do it, but that's okay. Shara and I have found a little workaround to do this little video for you just to talk about our class. Um, so if you don't know, we're doing a class together. We were doing a Q&A earlier about the class and it's just a really special class. I've been wanting to work with Shara for such a long time. And um, so we, we got together and we came up with this awesome scrap journaling class um, where Shara is gonna be teaching you guys how to like decorate all these beautiful pages and stitch on them and um, just make beautiful, beautiful pages and the cover and the layouts, et cetera. And yes, I'm, I'm super excited because um, we, I, if you've been following me, you know, I make note travelers notebooks. I have had classes with travelers notebooks. I do a lot of mini albums, but nobody ever writes in them. So it's very awesome that we're teaming up because I get to have the fun and do the chunky layers and the stitching and the sequins and just the layering of the paper, which is what I always do. And Andrea is going to show us how to incorporate our journaling life into these and how do we incorporate mixed media. So it's going to bring these travelers, well, this, for instance, a mini album, but to life. It's going to bring it literally to life from the production of the build and all the artistic, awesome things that we're going to doing, be doing to the writing and the lettering and the playing and the coloring and just all the things that I never do because I never know. So, yeah, so what Shara is saying is true. So she's going to be doing all that amazing stuff with you that I just talked about. And then with me, you're going to be taking classes um, as far as like how to do the journaling, how to do some mixed media, some painting, maybe a little drawing, some stamping, um, some using of stencils into your scrap journal um, and really make it this awesome thing. Um, with photographs, too, I'll also be showing you how to you know, um, to put photographs in there so that you're documenting your life, you're documenting yourself, your loved ones, the things you care about right now. The, the, the album is really supposed to be a portrait of who you are and who you are right now in this life. And so that it, you can maybe like slow down a little bit mm -hmm. and try to live in the moment a little bit more and just enjoy yourself and take care of yourself. Um, I sort of, subtitled the class so the class is we're calling it like our dearest ephemeral class because that's the collection we're using which is is a collection i'm going to show it to you in a second but it's and you can see shara using it right now it's a collection that i drew and designed and made and produced and um i i'm so excited for you guys to see it. it's my first collection back after sort of relaunching and rebranding my um, small paper crafting business um but we're gonna we're gonna be using it and I really wanted us to focus on sort of like self-care taking care of yourself and you can see um things like that in the collection things that say like be yourself and be unique and self-care and soft girl vibes and it's getting happy and things like that um because i want you guys to go on sort of this this like journey with this you know with this album so that you feel like you're taking care of yourself. You know, um, I think women, we tend to put ourselves last. And I really want with this class for you guys to put yourselves first, just for once, to put yourself first, to do something special for yourself. You're going to be making these beautiful pages. You're going to be putting pictures in them of yourself, the things you like, your hobbies, your family, your, your uh, spouse, your dog or cat, etc. And it's just going to be a special keepsake for you and to remember how special and important you are and that your life is. So we're going to be journaling about that. And you'll get journal prompts along those lines throughout the course, which is um, almost three weeks. It goes from the first April 1st to April 18th, and it'll be on Teachable. Everything will be recorded. So 
Um, and it's probably going to be a combination. We're, we're going to do lives, but it's going to be also some pre-recorded stuff too, most likely. And everything, though, even if it's live, will be recorded so you guys can always watch it after. So if you can't make it at a certain time, don't worry about that. You can always watch it after. I keep getting questions on that, and I want to make sure that people know if you need to miss a day or whatever, a class on a certain day, don't worry. Just pick it up the next day or the next day after that whenever you're able to. Um, what else, Shara? We will be learning all of these techniques that I'm doing now. I will show you how to stitch these to pre-poke your holes in this nice straight line. You can see I created some type of a pattern on here. I'm also going to show you. Now, I swear by my sewing machine. It is my favorite item. I, I absolutely love it. I use it for everything. You do not need one. I wouldn't recommend dropping everything you're doing to go purchase one. But if you have one, and even if you have one and you've never used it, we will go over that. It is they Don't be overwhelmed. You can see I use the sewing machine here. I use the sewing machine here. I use the sewing machine to stitch down my sequins. We will also be doing these French knots techniques so I will show you how to do all of this um, and like I said don't get overwhelmed with the sewing machine if you don't have one you don't need one you could write you can draw this in with a, a, with yep. a, a pen you can add them that way and then when I sew my pages together because we use two to hide the insides you'll just glue your pages together so it's completely okay but if you have a sewing machine and have yet to break it out I recommend breaking it out you will not be sorry yeah it's actually so easy to use a sewing machine and I, I I've used it myself on so many projects, paper crafting projects and, and albums that I've done in the past um, to make like shaker pockets, especially, you know, just sew along the edges, put the sequins in the inside, you know, make that little sandwich of the like clear part and the pattern paper. And there you go. It looks really cute. Um, things like that. You, you just stitch along the edge. And um, usually the, the usually the problem, honestly, that I think people have with sewing machines is they like really put their foot foot down hard on the press. Yeah, on the well, press. in in the bobbin, nobody likes to do the bobbin, but it yeah, really. Yeah. I never use a sewing machine in my life until I per I only bought one to do it on paper. So I have literally bought a sewing machine to use on paper and it was probably one of my very first crafty items. And like I said, it is my favorite thing. There yes. are YouTube videos to show you how to thread a bobbin and it really isn't hard. If anything, yeah. it becomes annoying because you don't want to stop what you're doing to do it. But to be honest, it takes uh, probably 60 seconds, under yeah. 60 seconds to do it. Yeah. And, um, yeah, and, and like Shara said, like, if you don't want to do that, that's not, that's not your thing. You don't want to go buy a sewing machine or use a sewing machine right now. You totally could just draw on those lines if you wanted to add that detail. Not that you have to. It would be just as beautiful, I think, without it. Yep. And you could also um, add a little hand stitching here and there um, as well if you wanted to do that, too. Um, I love to just sit, you know, with the TV on and hand stitch you know, and just, it just relax. It's relaxing vibes, you know? And I think that for the class, that's really something that I want you guys to feel. I don't want you guys to feel like pressured. We want to give you options of things that you can do. There's going to be, in fact, a lot of options of cool techniques and stuff that we're going to be showing you. But, you know, if something you want to do it differently, please go ahead um, and please share it with us. We're going to be on Teachable so you guys can share how you did a certain page. Maybe you took an idea and did it slightly more like this or slightly more like that, or you decided to do this other thing, you know, that's a little bit different. We encourage that. We want you to feel comfortable with the class, do things at your own pace and, and just, and do you make sure you do you. I believe you said that they will have two, co two cover options, this cover option and a yes. media cover option. Yes. So when you, um, so if you buy the, the collection that goes with the class, the, the collection that Char and I are, are using for the class, um, that is the Dearest Ephemeral collection that I just put out. Okay. So it's a brand new collection from me, Andrea Bethke. And um, this is the wooden mini album that you get. Now, I've done tons of things with these mini albums. If you know my brand at all, we um, do sell these all the time. The brand used to be called the Fairy Tale Club, but we've changed it to Andrew Bethke. But it's the same album that we've used in the past. It's a, it's larger than six by eight, so it'll nicely hold six by eight pages. 
um, and we made it a little bigger so you can put, you know, the tabs and stuff in there and little frills and ruffles and stuff on the side and it won't, you know, like pop out or unless you want it to. Um, but yeah, it's this wooden album. I will be showing you how to paint it. We'll be doing some mixed media painting as far as the cover goes and some of the stuff inside some of the pages and things. Um, but yeah, I'll, I will show you how you can paint it if you want to do that. You can also paper piece like what which is right, here, which is right there. She's showing you right there exactly how she has paper pieced it. And she's going to walk you through that. Um, and she's got a paper piece for the front. She's got a paper piece for the back. And then she's yep. going to be putting paper on the insides as well. And we do have a cut file because you're going to be getting cut files and printables with the class. We do have a cut file that will be that oval. So you can easily do that if you have a cutting machine. And if you don't, you could get an exacto knife and cut that out if you wanted to, if you want to do the paper piercing that Shara is doing. If not, you can totally do the painting with me. And I won't be upset if you pick Shara's gorgeousness over mine. <laughs> um, you can do well, both too. They can do mixed media on the inside and the yes. paper piecing on the outside. Do whatever you want. Like I said, do what you want. Do what feels right for you and what you feel comfortable with. There is a third option which I won't be showing, but I'll just mention, and I'll probably mention it during the class too, which is to just cover it entirely with one sheet of paper on the front, on the back. You would just use some spray adhesive, cover it with the paper on the front, cover it with the paper on the back, cover it on the inside. Um, you would just want to, I mean, I would personally want to make sure I had a double, one whole sheet to do the front, one sheet to do the back and then one of each sheet to do the inside. So two doubles of a certain pattern paper, right? Um, so you could always do that if you wanted to order like more of the collection or if you have paper in your own stash that you want to use that you already have doubles of, you just want to do a quick slap on some paper and, and, and be done with it, you can do that. But I'm going to specifically show you how to do some mixed media for the cover, how to do some painting for it. And Shara is going to show you how to do the paper piecing for it. And again, do though what makes you happy. If it makes you happy just to leave it wooden and you like that look, do that. Do what works for you. Now, that's the album you get in the collection. You will be getting 16 sheets of double-sided 12 by 12 paper. And you know, when I wanted to work with Shara, which I have for a long time, I've wanted to work with Shara for a long time because she does such beautiful work. Thank um, you. I reached out to her and one of the first things that she said is like, is the paper good? She wanted to know if the paper that we made was good. Um, when we produce it ourselves, we produce all of everything ourselves. All it's lovely. The paper is amazing. The paper, if you can hear it, it makes that good paper sound, that thick paper sound, right? And it just, it cuts like butter. It's going to die cut like butter. It's going to cut to paper piece. Or if you want to fussy cut it, all of that perfectly, beautifully. And it feels just nice. And it looks beautiful. It's printed um, on a professional printer. Um, so everything is vibrant and stunning. And I draw and I design all of this myself. So these are all my drawings that I did from scratch. People always wonder, like, did you really draw this? And I'm like, yes, I really drew it. <laughs> Each one of these pieces, which it takes a long time to put together a collection and to do all of the drawings that I do for an entire collection, right? Because it's not just like one or two drawings that I do. It's tons of drawing. I also like to incorporate writing into my collection. And we could go over too, because I know one of the things that people are worried about since I talk about there's going to be journaling, right? I'll show you how to journal in the, in the album. People worry, I think, about how their um, journaling looks, right? And so this is my writing. But, you know, I practiced it to make it look cute, right? This is my writing that I wrote out this thing, whatever. But I practiced it to make it look cute. And I can go over with you, you know, um, how to make it look cute but still be your own writing and then also another option in case you're worried if you're really like i don't like the way my script looks i don't know about this journaling thing you can always type it up too we're going to be giving you some amazing journaling prompts there's not any pressure to write an essay or anything but i do want you guys to try and include your thoughts to try and answer the prompts even if it's in a sentence even if it's a quote from your favorite book but something that expresses yourself and to put your writing in it, you can do that. Or like I said, you can always up to if at the end of the day, you're like, you know, I 
I just don't want to. Um, but just to get your thoughts down, because your voice is important. This is the collage paper. It has like a little bit of everything in the collection. And everything is double-sided. Like I said, you're getting tons of um, beautiful patterns that are all one of a kind. You're not going to find them, you know, somewhere else in another store. And this is what um, Shar and I will be using. Um, and and Shar's already telling me, you know, she's cut her pages down and everything. And I'm so excited to see what she does on each of them. Um, and including, right? Including. Yeah, this, that's, I'm working right. on that one right now. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. I can already visualize it with all the, the stitching and the different colors and I'm super excited. And you know, I, when I called Shara to work with her, I was actually in the middle or well, like two thirds the way done with designing the collection. And I even told her like, is there anything you wanna see? Is there anything you want to really work with since we're gonna be working with this collection in a class? And she said she wanted a multicolored stripe like this. Or <laughs> I did. And so we made it on the spot, right? Charlotte? Yep. Yep. I watched it happen. It was magical actually. Yeah. So we had her on screen and we showed her on the computer, what it would look like. And we, we said skinnier, fatter. We took the color palette. Exactly. Exactly. And it was so much fun. So just so you guys know, like, um, this collection, I, you know, I did, I, I, I just, I, uh, designed and drew all these things, but I did get, um, little notes and stuff from Shara so that it could really fit her style because I wanted her to feel comfortable with working with it on this class with me. And I'm just so glad that we were able, able, able to really collaborate together on something special. Like yes, this. it's lovely too. It really is lovely. It came out so beautiful. Here are my girls, which, you know, guys, if you know anything about my collections from the past, I always love to include diversity. I think diversity is so important. I want everybody to feel seen um, and reflected in their paper crafting stuff because we should, everybody should feel represented, you know? And then there's lots of ledgers. Again, I wanted a lot of ledgers in this collection because I wanted to show you guys, you know, how to journal with the ledger papers, all the little ledger papers and notes and a little, there's little cut apart note pieces and stuff in the collection. And I wanted you guys to be excited about writing some cute stuff down right in your in your scrap journal and i'm calling it a scrap journal because it's really a combination of like scrapbooking and art journaling and uh junk journaling and um i'm just i'm super excited because i think it just combines a lot of different cool paper crafting things that are going on right now you know so yeah, I'm doing a little flip through also of the layout of the pages yep. in the book. Yeah. And look how cute it looks already. She hasn't even punched the holes or anything. But no, it's it just loose. So yeah. This spread, I love this open. This is the ledger. Look how cute this is going to be to add a couple of sequins, some little journaling. Yep. Yeah, I'm super excited. And this is excited. the middle. This is our middle spread here. Yeah. And that, that big butterfly, that was another thing. That's one of the die cuts in the collection. That was something that Shara said, I'd love it if you could take one of your butterflies that you've drawn from that, that was already in the collection. It was already in the pattern. Yep. And she was like, if you could blow it up really big so we could like, you know, have the two sides in our album sort of like folded or, or, or cut and then be able to journal on the back too. So, so I can put some notebook paper on the back. We've got the butterfly on the front. We've got it nice and big for Shara to use. And I'm super excited to see that as well in your guys' albums. I just think it's it's already looking so cute from what Shara is doing. And if you guys are wondering, Shara and I are working on the classes right now. We're gonna be finishing up um, as soon as possible. We'll, we'll be finished obviously before class and before classes start. <laughs> um, but uh, we're working on it right now and we're, um, you know, taping everything right now and stuff and getting things ready for um, teachable. Now, some things will be live 
but I know me personally, I am going to try and pre-record some things too. And everything, like I said, everything will be recorded and available for you guys later. Okay. So if it is live, don't worry about it. You will get it um, later on too. You can always watch it later. And then I love this cut apart. This one has like all these cute little like telegrams and postcards and things, just fun things to like stick in pockets and stuff in the album. I'm really excited guys um, about, about everything and Shar and I working on this class together and, and being able to show you guys what we do. Um, I just think you guys are going to have so much fun. I know I'm, I'm going to have so much fun. <laughs> yeah, I know. right? I already I am. Shar and I are just like already playing and, and, and making things and we're already super excited um, about working with this and working together and working with you guys. And um, I'm, yeah. And so these are the, these are the smaller six by eight pages too, which you will also get. They're actually like six by eight and a quarter or something like that. And um, th so these will come in the collection as well. So you can just use these as cute decorative pages in between other pages, or you can add to them as you like. And one of them is this little calendar, which I left open so you can put, um, so you can put them up, but like for anyone who maybe decides to do this class, next month or something or wants to document something from last year or so, you know whatever they can always just fill in whatever month that they want right there you know easy peasy you can either write it in or you could use like some stickers or thick stickers to like fill it in you know for us that are going to be doing the class as we go along it's going to be starting in april so we put april here right and then i'll show you what i'm going to be doing and show you know so that you can follow along and do the same thing. But always, like I said, you guys can always do your own thing too. But I'll show you, I'll show you how uh, uh, I'm gonna fill this out, okay? And then we have the stickers, right? Beautiful sticker set. And we have two different sets actually of ephemera. We have an ephemera pack, like a just straight up ephemera pack is what I call it. And it shows on the back everything that's in there. I'm not going to pull everything out right now, but it shows you everything that you get. And you get tons of bigger ephemera pieces and tiny ephemera pieces, as well as like cute little bows and things, moons, suns. And then the other pack is technically an ephemera pack, but I call it a variety pack because you don't only get ephemera, you also get this nice sequin mix. So this is the sequin mix that you guys are going to get. Um, and so like Shara is using those beautiful sequins on her album. And don't, she was saying, I don't know if you said during this video, but you said it, at least I know during the Instagram live that we tried to do before <laughs> pushing us out, um, that they, they would get a sequin pack. So you guys can totally use these sequins, like how Shara shows you how to use them and sew them on. And they are the colors that match the collection. They match really nicely. Yeah, then, these the ones that I currently have. I didn't. I don't have the the mix yet. I didn't get mine yet. So I just used what was in my collection. But for the one we do together, I will be pulling from that sequin mix. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, so Shara Shara's uh, sequin mix is in the mail right now, <laughs> on the way. And um, yeah, so on the back it'll show you everything that's in the variety pack, which is mostly florals. They did like a floral and butterfly um ephemera pack that's just all that so this this one right has got like the girls and the animals and hearts and stars and moons and bows and, and words i and did take a couple out to show them size reference yeah there you go that helps a lot yeah and then there's the there's the floral one so you get a nice floral one too plus the nice sequins yeah aren't those so cute i love i love super cute i love those strawberries yeah those are super <laughs> you get the red one too I had to throw in a little red strawberry. There are tiny little touches of red here and there, but mostly. Yes, there like, are. Yeah, yeah, well, the bow page has red. I just stitched it, and there's some red bows on the yeah. bow page. Yep. Yeah. Not There's not much red in here, but there is yeah. the lines on the ledger is red. Yep, there's some yeah. red. Not yeah. much. Little touches. Yeah, the lipstick on some of the girls. Yep. Is, yeah, just tiny touches. Because um, I know sometimes people have a hard time with red. I love red. But I know sometimes people have a hard time with it. So most of the collection is actually this beautiful pastel. Um, and I think Shara showed it a minute ago. And I probably have it somewhere over here, too. Um, there's you a also get, while you're looking for that, we get these mega, mega ephemera pieces. Yeah. 
Yeah. There's this flower, the flower, and the moon. And we use those. I use those are the first things. I requested some mega ones, and those are the first things I put to use. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. And, yeah, so this is uh, the sort of uh, all the swatches, all the, the color palette that's in the collection. Yeah, shara has got a big one that I sent to her um, prior to sending her all the ephemera and stuff so that she could go ahead ahead and color match to all the thread that she would be using. And we will be sharing with you guys when you sign up for the class, right? So right now you can sign up for pre-registration, but soon it'll switch over to just general registration, just straight up registration. <laughs> and when it does that, we will start sending out the emails to people, everyone who's pre-registered and registered. Um, we'll send out the emails that say, uh, how to log in and everything to Teachable so that you can view all the videos for the classes and all of that stuff. And then um, you'll also get a list of like what Shara and I use besides the collection. So like what kind of glue we used, what kind of red tape we, you know, double-sided tape, what kind of ink we used, what kind of thread we used, um, et cetera. In case you want to use exactly what we have or just grab from your craft room, from your stash, all the stuff that is like the stuff that we say that we use. So there you go. And then um, you also get these cute little flare buttons. Which we are already putting three of them to use on the cover. One goes here, one goes here, and one goes down here. Perfect. Love it. And I think you said you're going to like E6000 those? You yes, know? I'm going to E6000 them down. I don't have any. That's why they're not placed yet. But I wanted to use the yellow one to bring in the flower. I wanted to use the pink to bring in the pink. And I wanted the blue heart trim to match the blue in the camera and the bow that I have up here, the moon. I always think about all. I don't just pick up and place. But, of course, that we will give you all our little pointers in the lesson. Yeah, perfect. And then you do get a stencil set, which I'll just open that up really quick so you guys can actually see. You get three stencils in the set. And I'm going to be showing you um, some mixed media stuff using ink mostly, um, but some, some other media as well that you can use with these stencils. So you can make some cute stuff to go with the album as well. So I'm excited about that. You get butterflies, you get hearts, and you get bows. And then, yes, there's the stamp set. And I will show you what we're going to do with this, too, so we can add some stamping into our album as well. I really just want you guys to have so much fun. It, I want it to just feel like a craft extravaganza of fun but with, <laughs> no, with no pressure and tons of, like, loving support. I want you guys to feel very good about what you're making. I want you to feel supported. I want you to take care of yourself. I really want to focus with the journaling and stuff on things like self-care, on living in the moment, on looking at yourself and who you are and how great you are, um, at the things that you love, the things you love to do, the things you love to read, the things you love to watch, uh, your, your thoughts that you have, your goals that you have, things like that. Because I really do think that we all deserve that right now. <laughs> Because life yes. is hard, and I think a little self-care uh, and a little scrap therapy is definitely needed. Um, and you do get these cute, I don't know if I pointed these out yet, but you, Not do, yet. you do get these cute little um, buttons. They're acrylic and wood buttons. Shara's used the little blue bow on the cover there and just like sewn some thread through there because yeah. it's a button, so you can go ahead and thread it just like you would a button just to add a little extra oomph to it, right? Or you could just glue it down, whatever you want to do. And then we also get charms. And we get these really beautiful um, pink charms, right, in like bows and hearts and um, moons. And then we get beautiful um, silver glitter ones. And then we also do get these moon, uh, so these moon, I don't know why I said that, these <laughs> butterfly ones that are wooden, right? They're wooden. Um, it's not just butterflies, though. <laughs> you get wooden ones in the butterfly, the heart shape, um, the bow, and the moon. Everything you get in the butterfly, the heart shape, the bow, and the moon. So you'll get the pink ones in that. You'll get the silver ones in that. And with the wooden ones, I am going to show you guys how to paint these. Or you can leave them as is, but 
I will show you how to paint them if you want to paint them. And we will be making a little charm dangle for the side of the album, which I'm excited about because I love stuff just like flowing off my my mini albums and stuff and <laughs> hands and things like that. It's just fun stuff. So I think that's about it. There's nine classes. It it turns out 135 altogether for the classes, but that's nine classes with me and Shara. And so each class is about 15 bucks, which I think is a, a yeah. deal. Such a good deal for all the stuff you're getting. Plus you're getting printables, plus you're getting cut files. You're getting the journaling prompts. Um, you're, you're getting a, a little piece into our brains. Yes. Tons of techniques, sewing text techniques, stamping, painting. Um, how to use stitching, sequencing. <laughs> yeah. How to use flare buttons, how to use, uh, you know, charms and things like that. It, it's just how, how to do pockets, all kinds of stuff that you're getting in this class. And um, hopefully more than anything though, you're getting like a really special memory of an event of all of us working together and doing something really special together yes. for ourselves, but coming together as a group to do that. So I'm really excited. Um, Me too. I, I think that's about it for now. I hope I answered yes. questions and you can always, you can always uh, DM me for more. If you have any more questions or email me and, um, yeah, I think about, I think that's it. The collection is also available. Oh, everything's available up on andreabethke.com. Um, so you can pre-register for the class there and then you can um, get the collection there. And I believe there is a discount if you get the class and the collection together. I believe there is. It, in fact, I'm like 100% positive there is a discount <laughs> if you get the two at the same time. Um, but yeah, that's that. And All right. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you. All right. See you later. Shara and I will see you, hopefully, very soon on April 1st. Yes. See you then. Bye, guys.